Hello, so today I'm here to show you how to create a HoloLens application that starts in 2D, transitions into 3D, and then allows you to move back into 2D. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a XAML-based 2D frame, transition into a Unity 3D scene, and then move back into our original XAML-based frame. So what we're going to do is first create our Unity 3D um, project. So you just create a new project. All I have in here is the Hollow Toolkit, which I got off of GitHub for free from Microsoft. And along with that, I have these two other assets that I created that allow us to move from 3D back into 2D, and I'll go over them in a moment. Um, so in the scene, all I have is a directional light, the HoloLens camera, and then an input manager and default cursor so I can interact with this cube. So that's all you need. Um, you go into the build settings. Um, some settings we want to make sure are all set is we go into player settings. We want to make sure that virtual reality is supported and Windows Holographic is added in as the virtual reality SDK. Uh, we then want to go into um, our project settings quality and make sure that the Windows icon is set to fastest. And then once you do both of those, we want to go into build settings, make sure the platform is set as the Windows Store, the SDK is Universal 10. Um, the most important part is that we have our build type set to XAML because we deal with XAML based frames. And then of course we want to make sure our scene is going to be built. So you build it. Uh, I already have a build prepared. It's one of these visual solutions. So here is the build that you're going to see. And so the two biggest parts of this build, and the ones we're going to be playing around with the most, are the app.xaml.cs, just the, Z, the uh, C sharp portion of the XAML frame, and the main page.xaml.cs. So what these two um, C sharp scripts do is essentially the app.xaml.cs finds the file, opens the application, and tells it where to go first. And what the main page.xaml.cs contains is essentially your entire Unity 3D scene. So this contains my cube, my camera, my input manager, and my default cursor. So right now we have it set up to when we launch this application on our HoloLens, it's going to open and then start with the Unity 3D scene. But we don't want it to do that. What we want it to do is stay in 2D frame. So what we have to do to make sure that happens is we need to go into Project, Add New Item, and we want to add a new XAML uh, blank page. So what I called mine was just Startup Page because we want it to start at this new frame instead of our Unity 3D scene. So you want to go ahead and create that. I already have one made. It's right here. And what you're going to get when you create your new XAML blank page is you're going to get just a blank square. Um, in mine, I've already added this button, and I'll tell you what it does. <coughs> so I added, I added this button. All I did to it was I named it Unity button, I made it say Start Unity, and then I gave it um, this click function. So what this click function does, actually, is when you click on that button, it creates a, a new uh, it creates a new window. Uh, within that window, it creates a new frame. And when uh, within that frame, we have it navigate to the main page. So this second frame nav is navigated to our entire um, Unity application that is in the main page. So let's step back really quick and make sure we understand what's going on here. So when the application is loaded, uh, I'm going to be using the emulator. So when the application is loaded on the emulator, uh, we want it to go to the startup page. And then from the startup page, we click on this button. And then the button itself creates the Unity 3D scene. So right now it's still set to launch and go to the main page, or launch and go to our Unity 3D scene, but we only have to change one thing, one small thing in this script to make it go to our startup page. 
So all we have to change is that this root frame, the first frame that's created, navigates to the startup page. And that's it. That's all we have to do. But right now, so we have it set for the application to launch. Go to our startup page. Go to our startup page. And from our startup page, we can go back into the Unity scene that, create, that we create. But we have no way to move back from Unity to our 2D frame. And that's where these two guys come into play. The return to 2D and return to main view. This is what allows us to go from 3D back to 2D. So what we need to do first is we need to create a plugin outside of Unity that um, allows us to access certain um, pieces of the .NET framework. So I created this plugin called Return to Main View, and I have it set. I have it set up right here. <coughs> Return to Main View. So all of this plugin plugin does is it takes the core application that it's a part of and exits it, just closes it. So what this what this um, plugin is going to do in Unity is it's going to give us the ability to close the new frame that we made. So <clears throat> let's just go through this again just to make sure we're all on the same page. So what's going to happen is our app is going to load. It's going to navigate to our startup page. This startup page is when we click that button, it's going to create a new window. It's going to create a new frame within that window. And then it's going to go to our Unity 3D uh, scene. So because we're in a brand new window with a brand new frame, this plugin that we put into Unity is going to exit that new frame. But we still have the startup page running in the background the whole time. So that is not going to be um, affected by any of this. So what we do to add this plugin into Unity is, well, first we have to um, start it, make sure it builds successfully. Um, you need to make sure this is set to debug. This is set to times 86. And then you're going to start and just make sure it builds. So I've already started this. I've already built it. I already know it works. So um, you need to obviously save it into a certain location. I have it saved into this folder that I called plugin. Here it is, return to main view. You just need to keep clicking into it. Um, go to the bin folder. Um, we have it set to times 86. It was debugging. And we need to use this dot DLL. Where's my project? Here it is. We need to take this dot DLL. Here, I'll delete this one just to show you because we have some other settings that we need to mess around with. So all we're going to do is take this dot DLL and drag and drop. All right. So now we have it in our Unity scene. But we need to play around with its settings in the inspector for a little bit. So we want to uncheck uncheck any platform, uncheck editor, uncheck standalone, uncheck Android, and we only need WSA player checked. Um, and then within these platform settings, we need to set the SDK to UWP, click don't process, and apply. Bam. So now we have a plugin in here. So now we have the ability to close a new application, but we need to tell Unity to do that. So the way I do that is I added a, well, I'm going to click on the cube. That's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, when I click on the cube, uh, the plugin's going to run, and we're going to close out of Unity. So the way I tell Unity to do that is I create this return to 2D script. And so within that script, I added in the input handler that allows me to interact with objects with um, 
Holland's inputs, meaning like the uh, the air tap. So when I air tap on the object, it's going to run this plugin. And what this means, it's going to access the return to main view namespace. Um, it's going to access the main view class and then run the switch to main view method. So what it does is it accesses, let's get them side by side. I think it's this one, right? Yeah, here we go. Make that all small. Make that small. So yeah, on and put down, meaning when I click on the cube, it's going to access the return to main view namespace, return to main view, ma to main view namespace, um, go into the main view class, it's going to go in the main view class, and then start the switch to main view function start the switch to main view function and that I believe is it so now we have the so let's let's step back one more time and just run over everything that's happening so when we start the application when we start the application the um, application is gonna or we're gonna find the file open the application then we're going to take the first frame that's created right here and we're going to navigate to our startup page which is our little placeholder page so we start up to our XAML frame and within this frame we have our start unity button and what that button does is it creates a new window within that window it creates a new frame and then when we click on the button it's going to take that frame and navigate to the unity scene all right so now we're back in our unity scene our scene contains this plugin that allows us to close the new frame that we created close the frame that contains our unity scene and the way we do that within unity is this return to 2d function so we're going to click on the cube it's going to run this plugin and then the second frame will close and we'll be moving back into our 2d environment so now that we have it all set up and everything is perfectly running uh, let's start it let's try it out so we're going to start with that debugging. All right, so now we have the application loaded into our HoloLens emulator. So let's launch it. All right, and let's place it in our world. So as you can see, the application started and loaded up in our startup page first, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And from there, we can click on our button and start our Unity scene. So as you could see, there was that small little outline that was created. So that just shows that we created our new window. And the window is navigating to main page, which is our Unity scene. So here we are. We are we've just moved from 2D to our 3D Unity scene. And when we click on the cube, we move back to 2D. So we have successfully launched a 2D application that allows us to move into a 3D environment and then back to 2D. So that's it. That's how you do it. Um, and we can go back into Unity if we want. And the frame is going to be created again. Um, and it's going to navigate to main page, which is our Unity 3D scene. And we're back. And just close it. So yeah, that's how you do it. I uh, hope you learned something. If you got any questions about it, uh, put them in the comments. I'll try and uh, answer as many as I can. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. Later.